All right, are you ready, Melissa? You ready? All right, check this one out. I like this one. We gotta wait till it drops. Woo! Put your shoulders in it, Wilson. Put your shoulders in it, baby. <laughs> oh, man, man, man. Wilson, you all right, man. You all right in my book. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to New Stuff TV 2, the Untechnical Tech Channel. I'm your host, Antoine. Put your shoulders in it, Richardson, because today we're going to be talking about how me and Wilson just sitting here vibing to some tracks on Epidemic Sound. And I was just here thinking about, like, all right, JBL's got new speakers coming out, right? The JBL uh, Extreme 4 is out in another part of the country. Yes, there are some people who happen to have one, but I don't think they're supposed to have it right now because it ain't really supposed to come out till June 2024. Let me pause this. But I want to talk about this Boombox 3 because this thing is actually, I took some notes. Believe it or not, I actually took some notes. I usually don't do that kind of stuff. I took some notes, man. I think the Boombox came out in like 2022-ish, somewhere in there, like September. I don't know but it's about two years old. So that means it's about time for a Boombox 4 to be talked about. And since we haven't seen one hit the streets yet, let's talk about some stuff I wanna see JBL do to improve this already amazing speaker. For those of you who don't already know, between the JBL Charge 5 and the Boombox 3, they are my two favorite speakers from JBL, if not two of my favorite speakers of all time. But the JBL Boombox came with some stuff that nobody freaking asked for like this, a metal handle, okay? <laughs> I think I can remember that some people may have complained about the Boombox 2 having a plastic one and that it would break. I never had that experience with my Boombox 2, but nobody asked for freaking metal. And I'll tell you why I don't like it. It's because uh, like me and my wife, we go to the beach and stuff. And you know, if you're outside just chilling in the backyard and you got this thing under direct sunlight, it is going to scald your hand when you grab it. This thing just, it just heats up and you're done. The rest of it's plastic and rubber and mesh and all that, but we got this metal handle and that's just a bad look, man. So hindsight is 2020. Give us back a plastic handle. And while you at it, recently I talked about this W King X20 or something like that. It's this Bluetooth speaker that comes aimed directly at the Boombox 3. It has a plastic handle, but it also has a detachable strap. Man, it's got these little buckles right here or shackles that kind of flip up inside of the handle and then you can you know, put the strap on, dude, they, they, they out JBL, JBL, you know what I'm saying? So JBL, can we get a plastic handle with some shackles on there with a detachable strap? Is that too much to ask? Or, you know, maybe not a shackle that folds up and down, maybe just a permanent one like you do on the extreme speakers. And they're just there waiting for the strap to be put on there. And yeah, I know they sell stuff on like Amazon, like, you know, straps and stuff like that, but that's rickety stuff, that stuff don't work. But yeah, as far as carrying this thing, here's the deal. Plenty of times I've been coming to this studio and just doing stuff, right? I gotta carry this 15 pound speaker in my hand because it has a handle. Okay, there's been plenty of times where I wish I could just strap the strap on my shoulder or on my opposite shoulder, and then I got this thing hanging right here, and then I still have both my hands. That would be epic. I know I'm just hanging out on this handle and strap business, but I'm just trying to drive the point home that we need a strap, like a dedicated JBL strap for this thing, man. That's just something that I really want badly. But what we also need is this. Let me take this, check this out, Wilson. So on this table, we got a solid surface, right? You see how much this is rocking, bro? Look at that, I'm just tapping it just a little bit. But let's just say you want some grass, okay? Let's say this carpet is grass, and then you know, like your dog walks by, which my crazy ass dog will do all the time. And he, look at this, dude. This ain't even cute. Look at that. No, no, let's just, let's just get away from this, JBL. Come in here, Wilson, let me show you this. This is some BS right here, JBL. Why is this big 15 pound speaker sitting on this, what is this, two inches? That's like two and a half inches worth of width right there. That's not an adequate base for a speaker like this. We need a wider base, okay? Not only wider, but wider. <laughs> like more depth and more width. Let's, let's give this thing a solid platform to sit on. That way it don't be rolling all over the place when your crazy ass dog just walks by. You know what I'm saying? Then, what else did I put on here? Oh, so I see what you're doing. You didn't update the JBL Extreme 4 to have a detachable battery. 
can we get one of those for this joint right here? That way, people who complain about their batteries degrading over a two or three year time span, they can just hot swap that bad boy out and have a brand new fresh JBL battery for this 24 hours of battery life. I think you pull that off. You already done, done it once. You proved that you can do it. So let's get that in the JBL uh, boom box four. Let's just stick it right back in there. I don't know where you put it, but yeah, let's let's get that done, man. That way we can have that that extended life. Cause some people still rocking the boom box two from like 2018 or something like that. And they're complaining about their battery. So it'll just extend the life of the uh, speaker as a whole. So here's one that bothers me only when it's time. Like only at certain times this bothers me. You might not be able to see this Wilson, but if you get in here and look at this speaker booty, you see that that's AC input. Yes, now get out of here man, look at me dude. <laughs> so AC input, is better than walking around with a big DC charging brick, right? But you know what's better than the AC plug? USB-C. Yeah, that's that's really all I have to say about that. USB-C charging. I don't know how other companies have done it, but if they can do it, you can do it, okay? Oh, since we're back here on the speaker booty. All right, man, this is such a simplistic look, right? We got the headphone jack. Is that a head, what is that? That is, oh, aux, uh, 3.5 millimeter. Then you got your charging out and then you got your AC. Why can we not have a microphone jack, like for a guitar or something like that? Cause a lot of Sony speakers do that, right? And even that W King X20 has that. I don't, this is not me, it's, it's not something I do, but I know a lot of people like to karaoke and stuff. And especially people who can't sing. Why is that people that can't sing always want karaoke? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, give us a microphone input, man. Just throw that in there, man. It ain't gonna hurt you. So we can have a microphone input, that extra battery, and we can just go sing our hearts out in public in front of a store, you know, on the beach or something like that. But last but not least, when I turn this thing up, okay, 30, 40% is where I usually keep it, but there are some times where I needed to crank this thing up a little bit past 50. And what happens is it feels like the bass kind of just like you lower it. And there's nothing you could do about it because JBL has tuned the speaker to be that way. The bass just kind of subdues and yeah, it's just like the bass just gets weak. So can we have the crossover or whatever it is that you're doing in here? Can we have that bass just stick around even at high volumes? Oh, that would be freaking great, man, if you could do that. That would make, as far as aesthetics right now, I love it, it looks fantastic. As far as the sound profile, it, it sounds fantastic, but I said I was gonna be done. But let's talk about EQ. I don't care about an EQ for the JBL Boombox 3. It's just, it sounds great coming out of the box. Some people want like a five or seven or nine band EQ. I don't need all that. I'm cool with the three because the only thing I actually really do is just kind of take down the highs a little bit. But other than that, it really does sound great coming out of the box. So, hey man, in the app, throw in a five, at least a five band EQ, that'll satisfy everybody else. But if there was a Boombox 4 coming out in recent times, I hope JBL is listening to this. I, sometimes people think I'm a JBL hater. I am not. I'm just, I'm a realist. I don't like spending a lot of money on stuff that ain't right. <laughs> and with that being said, I'm not an expert in this kind of stuff, but what I do know is how to get my jam on. Let's see what we got here, man. Yeah, there it is. Put your shoulders in it, Wilson. <laughs> All right, man, cut. <laughs>